Hello everybody, ReaperX1 here again, back playing in the new Tekka save, and welcoming you to this brand new episode, and as always, I do thank you for joining me, and I really do hope you're having a good one. In this episode here, I'm hopefully hoping that uh, we'll get uh, some interest, you know, at least for the new Tekka project. And what I got going on here is this is where my house used to be. I took it out because while it was big, I think I'm going to redesign it for the main town of New Tekka, which I, the working title of the town, starting town, will be Tektropolis. And I am open to suggestions. If you got a better name or you think you got a better name or a more creative name, you know what? I'd love to hear it. Throw it down in the comments. And if we get a whole bunch of ideas, we'll, we'll do a vote. Uh, through the comments or somewhere or maybe even on the forums on the favorite name and whatever gets the most votes that'll be the starting town's name but I thought Tektropolis it was it, it kind of the first one popped to mind so you know but what I got going on here is you can see the four anchors that I placed up well this is my yard so what I was gonna do is I'm gonna upload this save and have it so it's right here where you start off in this grassland. This is going to be our starting town. It has a fair amount of flat land. It has some hills with flattish ish <laughs> tops on it. And uh, if you, you're building a home, hopefully you are. You know, there's been a few put in already. I'm working on getting you guys here. It does take a while because I don't have all the stuff figured out on the getting you here process. I have actually thought of cheaping out and just saying the teleporter gets you here, but I really like the shuttle part of it. You know, it makes it seem, to me at least, more believable. And it adds that extra little bit to the story, you know. It makes it seem like an adventure for each citizen to get here. And I like it, and hopefully you guys do too. But when you do get here, you know, you're going to have your, your citizen here. And we don't want them to be homeless because, you know, the resort is only a temporary thing. Like, uh, for temporary stays. It's not meant to be long-term living. <laughs> I plan on making apartment buildings. Or if you guys want to make apartment buildings, we're going to do that at some point. And, or townhouses, whatever, you know, kind of different housing situations that could be in the real world can also be in our world. But what I'm doing here is this is my yard, my spot, you know, mine. But that's just in between the four anchors. So if you'd like to lo uh, uh, download this save, load it up, pick your, your location. You can either plant your home there, mark it out with the anchors like I've done, or just write down the coordinates, whatever you, you find is good for what you want to do. And that'll become your yard. Now it is first come first serve. So if it comes down to where there is two the, two different citizens that want the same part, well, it will be the first one who gets it. So you might you may be asked to font pick another location. So maybe if you pick two or three, and maybe name these anchors as like. Like, well, hold on, because we can rename them, right? So have this, like, one. So that's, like, your first choice. And then wherever else your second choice would be, you name that anchor that, or, uh, you know what I mean? So from there, we'll have at least a good idea that we're going to get the spot we want, or we have a way better chance than me just putting them in wherever I think they should go, because maybe you want a, a specific person as your neighbor. Maybe you don't want to have a specific person as your neighbor. I hope that ain't the case, though, because I'm hoping we're all in here as friends, having a good time, and making the good one, you know? And I'm also hoping that we're going to avoid bubbles, because I know my house, it had bubbles on it, and that's part of the reason why I'm really considering rebuilding it for this, because if everything works out, we're going to have houses close enough and other anchored techs, non-rotating anchored techs, because they cause lag. And it'll keep the enemies from spawning within our town. I'm hoping that'll work. <laughs> because then we'll have our outer perimeter, that's our defenses, to keep all the big baddies out. 
So I was thinking if we can do that and it works out the way I hope and I plan, <laughs> it should. Oh, hit it. That we'll have a pretty good little town here. We won't have no enemies bothering us, so there won't be any need for weapons. You can add them if you like. I'm not going to discourage them because they won't fire unless there's an enemy, right? And they do add a certain level of coolness to a building. The bubbles, however, they just kind of blur things, really. And it doesn't really benefit the actual tech if there's no attacks happening. It takes away, I think, because you end up with a blue or a green bubble around you, right? So I figured if we can avoid that, that'd be awesome. And it'll save on a lot of the frames, because we, I do encourage using lights. Don't excessively use them, of course, but, you know, make your buildings look awesome. Because that's what I'm hoping. I want this to look and be as close to real as we can but with our own spin on it. So, you know, we get our coolness added into it. I lost my home. Oh, it's over there. Okay. <laughs> oh, I lost a wheel too. But I figure that'd be a way better to lose frames in this situation than having bubbles. You know, we'll use lights so we can have it really cool and we can have things charge and all that. Uh oh, I'm getting beat up. I'm going to blow up here. Yep, there we go. Woohoo! <laughs> like a firework. Nice! So yeah, I'm going to upload this save, So you, and I'm going to have it start right here in this grasslands, well away from any of the spots I've already lagged out, because there are a couple. The resort is in this save, the airport is in this save, and there's actually another little thing I've been working on for a contest in this save, or a competition. I don't know if there's really much of a... I don't think there's the banner prize or nothing on this one. I hope there is. That'd be kind of cool. I haven't won one of them in a while. Not saying that I will, but, you know, it'd be nice to kind of shoot for. And uh, from there, you know, we'll have a little more choice over where we end up. That's what I'm hoping, anyway. And a lot of what is happening right now behind the scenes with New Tekka is I've got most of the citizens, well, all the the waiting citizens sent out in their shuttles. They're on their way. But the problems I've been having is every time I try to load the shuttle into this save, it comes in halfway through the ground and it's getting damaged beyond a reasonable amount. Like, it's noticeable the amount of damage it takes. So I really don't want to have it coming in as, you know, our citizens are landing, and it looked just fugly, you know? So I might just have to edit it in and fake it a little bit, you know, a little editing magic, I guess, we'll call it, up until a certain point. I'm hoping the next update really fixes that, but I got a feeling that it could even have something to do with other things going on. Maybe I got too many things in this one save. <clears throat> Or maybe it's something else entirely. I don't know yet. I haven't really got to that point where I gotta, where I'm gonna figure. I figured it out, and I may never. I don't know. There's a lot of variables that can come into play. I'm thinking of breaking up the areas into their own saves. Oh, well, that ain't gonna hit them. So like, our town here, it'll be its own save. The airport will be its own save. And the resort will be its own save. Just to kind of keep things from building up and being uh, destroyed in each save because as they reload when you come back to an area that's what I think happened to my uh, hangar it actually ended up being below the ground and anchored at what I think would be like Terratech's version of sea level and well it sucked because it eventually caused all four of my buildings or four parts of the hangar to fall into the ground and pretty much go to crap on me. So as I'm blowing these guys up, you know, just kind of take that into consideration and, you know, let's see if, uh, I don't think it would take anything away from the story. I think we could work around it and we can make it work. But we just want to make sure everyone has a fair chance of getting the location for their house that they want in hopes that it all you know, we can all have the best we we can hope for. 
And so, you know, I, there's a couple other things I should maybe mention, you know. If, uh, if you're just seeing this video and you don't know what the new Tekka project is, you may want to just scoot down into the description, find the link for the new Tekka project. I do highly recommend watching the very first video on that thread that it takes you to. Read through it. It's a little long. I know there's a bit of type in there, but it does cover your citizen, <coughs> the suggested requirements, and then the size requirements. Now, you can make them bigger if you want, but I can't guarantee you they're going to make it. They'll either well, they won't fit in the shuttle, they won't fit in the portal, or they just won't fit somewhere. And even if we do get them here, they may not be able to do some things. Because those size limits, they're meant for the scale I was thinking at the time to give us the biggest possible citizen but also maintaining the ability to have a lot of cool things that our techs can go on into and be interacting with. So if you get too much out of them sizes, it may really hurt your chances of having the extra fun that I hope to have in this at some time. Because, you know, I am hoping for, like, a theme park. Now, if you have your tech and he's too big, wouldn't you, wouldn't you feel bad if you, you couldn't go on the theme, theme, uh, theme park rides? I don't know why that was so hard to say, but it was. I know I would. And from there, you know, if also you would like to have like a position that your character or citizen holds, like a job kind of thing, that'd be great. Because we have Lemonhead. He's our, our uh, <coughs> he's the helper for Mr. Eats. So, you know, he's got his little, his job. So he's doing great. He's already where he wants to be. That's perfect. And now even uh, if there is one person doing said job, there could be more. Because maybe Mr. Eats will have a second location here on New Tekka. It might be his brother, though. Uh -huh. Or maybe it's his son or something like that. <coughs> or maybe it's not even Mr. Eats' family. Maybe it's someone... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe it's someone else that wants to build their own restaurant type deal with their citizen and that, you know, that'd be great. Because we are going to try and get as much of real life kind of options into this game, but we're going to make it fit what we like. It does not have to look real or realistic, but just the ideas behind it. Like we're going to have a crafter, so you know, we got our, our fabricators or our tradespeople can be all to do with stuff like that or even just made up you know it doesn't matter it doesn't have to have a crafter on it and we can have like service people you know like policemen fire departments we could have ambulance we could have all that kind of stuff we can have mailman there was one citizen that was just put in he was the last one put in so unfortunately he's not going to be in this week's uh groups that have get sent but you know it's all I, it's still a really good idea to have the mailman. We always have to have a mailman. We gotta get our letters. Because we don't all run on emails. <laughs> and other than that, uh, you know, just anything you can think up, you know, if it's appropriate. And like, I mean, not dirty, not obscene. Hey, there's a good chance we could have it in our world. Or in one of the saves that makes up our world. Because I am really thinking of splitting this all up into individual saves per area. Because if it does crap out and our saves, or the save, master save, like I got here, goes wrong. It could take forever to set back up. Like right now as it stands, just with what I've put into this save, I could see without lag too. Now I always deal with lag when I'm doing the around those areas. But it would take me roughly, I'm guessing, 8 hours to set it up without lag. With lag, I'm looking at 10 to 12. And that's just those two areas. That's not even counting being in this area and whatever's to come here. So, you know, keep that in mind. And uh, and we're going to kind of go with that, I believe. I'm thinking I'm going to do that. I don't really want to use a creative mode save because while well, we don't get invaders in there I don't believe unless that's changed and I didn't hear about it and we don't get missions and you know that could be a large part of our stories <laughs> that I do hope to make you know maybe we'll have like a little new Tekka sitcom at, at some point 
Who knows? It's always an option. We'll just see how it goes. And also, you know, we could have endless amount of stories. But in the creative mode, we can have enemies. But I don't think it's the same. It's not as good. Having the invaders is a really big advantage. And then the missions on top of that, it's just even better. But I have thought of maybe not using an edited save. Because the developers have said for a long, long time that there's a very high chance that it's going to cause bugs and stuff in the game. Now, I don't know if that's the case for every edited save. Or if they're just saying that so we don't mess with it and they can get better feedback when we do have bugs. Because I can't even, well, I don't even send in bug reports on these saves. Because they've said that and I don't want to waste their time. So, you know, maybe I should use a legit save. But then it's going to take a lot, lot longer, right? In a, can in a normal, legit campaign save. Like, I'd have to go either craft or buy or, or salvage all the blocks needed. And, well, we've seen the two areas I've set up. That would take a long time in itself. Let alone all the other uh, blocks that is going to be needed for when you guys get all your stuff in here. Like, your citizens alone would take a long time just to collect up the blocks for that. Ooh, he ain't so bad. <laughs> <laughs> and let alone under your houses and all our battle techs that are going to come eventually. Because that was another big feature, I thought, of having it in one of these saves. Is we could have actual war, if we thought. Because like, we're going to have enemies. And they're going to be a constant thing we deal with. Just to keep things interesting. Because, well, if I didn't have enemies in here, you'd just be sitting me watching me drive, or sit there maybe, or drive around slowly, not doing much, while I'm gabbing. Ooh, he's a bigger one. Let's see if we can do him in. Oh, yeah, he's got no chance. No bubbles, no chance. I got no bubbles, but I had a chance. I got this far away. Ha <laughs> ha. But, yeah, as you can see, we got a pretty big grasslands here. So, if you would like to come in and check out the save, I'll post it with this video. I'll try, I'll... I'll do my best to remember. I don't like to guarantee things because I got the crap memory. And sometimes I forget things. I can remember the build ideas I've had and all that, but half the time I can't remember the, the other details. So, but the one thing I am hoping to change is, look how close that guy spawned to my anchored tech. I was really hoping that'd be farther away, but, you know, so we could actually take over territory and not have to have things too close that it's going to lag things out. I would really hope that the uh, spawn limit for anchored techs would be a lot bigger than unanchored. Like, that seemed to be like the first ring on the radar here where he, he spawned in on an anchored tech. I would really hope that is not the case. Maybe he was spawning in in relation to my tech here. Which would probably have him out like where this enemy is, out of the outer ring. That would be alright, that's fine. Because <laughs> with that much room in between them, I think we could have a fairly good looking town, neighborhoods and all that. And then our outer perimeter is going to be our defenses. So we shouldn't need weapons on the buildings. But we can still have them. They may not fire at anything ever, because nothing will get that close, hopefully. <laughs> if everything goes good. But we should not need bubbles, because bubbles are going to be the big drain on this. Because, well, with them and plus lights, because I would rather see lights in this than bubbles. Just because, that was awesome. <laughs> Just because I, it's going to look a lot better. The bubbles make things look fugly before they make them look good. Just the way they are. Even the coolest bubbles we got, the Hawkeye stuff. Still doesn't look as good as no bubbles at all. So, or if we could ever possibly get to the, you know, the way to turn them off, you know, that'd be cool. I heard they had a mod for it, but it's not in the, the legit version of the game. It is an unofficial mod, so I don't, I haven't even used it because it is unofficial. I don't want to get used to something that may not ever happen. Like, I took forever even with the hover glitch. To even try that because I thought, oh, they'll fix it. Then I won't be no good. My text will be junk. 
But then, you know, there's enough love for it that they're going to try their best to make it a real thing, a real block. And everything will be just usable the way we get our controls now, but it'll be actually intended and perfected. Or as close to perfection as they can get, or any of us could ever possibly hope to get. Perfection is pretty much an un unobtainable. It, you can just get close to it. Like 99% perfection. That's pretty damn good. So that's kind of my ideas for this little video. I know it's not the most exciting video. We didn't build nothing. But we got to tear stuff apart. We blew it up. Got the general idea. So like I was saying, we'll, I'll load this. Uh, I'll post this save with this uh, video. So you can come in and pick your locations. And as I did say, first come, first serve on the location. So you may want to pick two or three. Or as many as you want, really. But number them. Because <laughs> if I don't know what number is, or that your first pick is, I'm not going to know, right? And I don't really want to have to remove and readjust positions on houses any more than I have to. So if it becomes an issue, you could just get put somewhere you might not like. So I'd really hope, take some, take some, put some good thought into it. And, you know, pick something that you know you're going to like. See, look at that. He targeted it. Uh, oh, I hit him with that one, and he's way out of my range. <coughs> so I wonder what missiles are doing that. Is it the little ones? I think it's the avalanche ones from Venture. They got a longer range than cruise missiles? Are you kidding me? That ain't right. Look at that. It, it, it's got to be them. That's not right. Cruise missiles should have that. I'd honestly love to see the cruise missiles return to their former glory, like when they were first in, implemented, with range right to the edge of the radar. That would make sense. Slow down the rate of fire? Sure. I'm good with that. <clears throat> All the other missiles, as they decrease in power, should have either a shorter range, well, they definitely should have a shorter range than the cruise missiles, but they could have different ranges in between themselves. But they should not have that timer on them. If I can aim at it and they can lock on, they should be able to hit that target no problems. Because I, I get real frustrated when I see my missile away and it's like, oh, it's going to hit him, going to hit him, going to hit him. Target him nice, target him nice, and it blows up in front of it. That sucks. Oh, shucks, it sucks even. Well, that... Wasn't as smooth as I'd hoped. Lost my missile. But I've been running around with no batteries, blowing up text for a while now, so it was bound to happen. You know, I'm going to run into stuff like I do. So I think I'm going to leave this one right around in here. But, you know, I didn't say a bunch of stuff at the start, which I should probably say right now. I think I welcomed you. I think I thanked you for joining me. I'm pretty sure I hoped you were having a good one, as I always do. That never stops. But the other things I forgot to mention is that uh, if you're enjoying what you're seeing... Maybe you throw some likes down below. Ooh, that was a good one. Some comments as well, you know. If you got a, a name for the town, a suggested name for their starting town. The working name right now is Tektropolis. Open to suggestions. Comments, please. We'll vote on, if we get a bunch of ideas, suggestions, we'll have a vote for it. And also from there, you know, there's, uh, there's that description you might want to take a look at. Because there is the link for this project, which will take you to the thread all about it. And if you're new to it, I do recommend the first... Read and watch the first initial post on that thread. And then from there, you know, you'll have a really good idea which you might want to consider including in your builds. And also we have the Thread Showcase. Where your cool and original text could have their very own video. And all you have to do is follow that link, post your in-game snapshots or save games, or both. There, and I'll make the best dang video out of my can. Or you could uh, come join us on every Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for a little multiplaying on a Sunday for a multiplayer Monday. And we'll have some fun, get in a few rounds. And if you'd like to help the little channel out, keep us thriving. Uh, you could make, there's another uh, link down there, a paypal.me link. Man, I'm red. <laughs> and it's set up for a $2 donation. 
But with said donation, your name does also get entered into a draw for a 3D printed tech that is currently valued at $40. Yeah, I'm not sure when I'm going to be awarding it or presenting or announcing a winner. I was really hoping for a little better participation than the first one. We haven't quite got it yet. We have two people that have entered with three, three tickets being uh, acquired. So, you know, I was really hoping for a little more than that. Because if that's all the participation that's going to happen, this could be the last draw I do. Because just don't have the funds for it, right? So if you're interested, it is all down there. But, you know, I do thank you once again for bringing your awesome to my little channel. And as always, it is appreciated. So, you know what? Let's get out and shop for real estate in the new Tekka Save. And we'll have some homes here eventually. I have been having some issues, like I'm pretty sure I said before, with getting the, the techs in I need to land our citizens, but I'm going to work my my half editing magic. <laughs> Nowhere near a pro, but I'm working on it, you know? And uh, we'll get something worked out where we can get some citizens here, and not just close or on the way, because, well, that just don't cut it in my book. But just know I've never stopped trying. I've been working hard on it. It takes a while, I know, but it kind of has to be like that. Just even considering the lag I deal with to put this together. <laughs> if you're interested in seeing how my saves run normally, or these areas run normally, let me know. But be warned, it will be laggy. <laughs> and some long pauses when things load into the world. So I think that's a that's probably a good spot to start. We're going to have this as an end. There's been a lot of little talking and gabbing and all. Just trying to give you guys a feel of what the what is going into this. So, you know, maybe you take that in consideration. Don't get too excited if it takes a while. It, it, I can I can say it probably will. It's not intended. It's just going to be like that because while well, things ain't done in this game, things need to be improved on my end. Things have to be figured out on my end. So, you know, there's a lot going on, a lot of variables. But, until that next time, just keep being that awesome, and keep having a good one. Bye.